Jari, you have a long experience being a professor of science education at the University of Helsinki and then very much working with mm. teacher education at the Faculty of Educational Sciences in our university. And now we would like to hear your experiences and, and comments about Finnish teacher education. And I know that you have also a long history with international cooperation related to teacher education and also you have also insight globally about teachers work and teacher education. And now I would like to give the floor to you to tell just a little what you have done in teacher education mm. during these many years you have worked in our university. So my <laughs> origin is in teacher training school. So I was teaching in uh, lower and upper secondary, secondary grades, sciences and mathematics and and also supervising uh, student teachers in, in, in teaching practice. After working this seven years in this kind of position, I go to the Department of Teach Education and start as a lecturer and then later on a senior lecturer. And during the last 20 years, I have been working as a professor of science education. So in different positions, I have seen how, how we are doing teach education. A and also uh, I have had some experience in administration. I was uh, head of the Department of Teach Education for 10 years, so I was able to see how we are uh, administrating teach education issues at the uh, department and faculty level. Oh, from these uh, different kind of positions, mm. I think that you also have some insights and, and uh, comments. What are the strengths you can see in Finnish teacher education? Very often it, it's mm. called that we have high level teacher education. What do you think? What are the strengths? Sometimes for people it's challenging to see the strengths from inside. <laughs> so I, I think that it might be useful to make some comparison or even contrasting that, that helps maybe better us to see the strengths. And one, one very obvious thing for Finnish people is that the teachers, primary, secondary teachers, are educated at traditional research universities. And this is not the case in, 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 in many, many countries. They are organizing teacher education in separate colleges. Maybe teacher education have more vocational education phases. Uh, but in, in, in Finland, it has a long tradition that teachers are considered as academic experts and, and that's why they need to be educated at traditional research universities. Very <laughs> much connected to this idea is that if you ask anybody in teacher education what is the main issue, so we, we say that it's a research-based teacher education. So, so uh, and it's very obvious for us, but, but the meaning of <laughs> research-based teacher education, there might be variation how we understand but I, I understand it quite broadly so so first uh, every teacher educator should have a PhD nowadays and they are members of the research communities we are engaging research on, on classroom teaching learning teacher education history philosophy of education many many areas and 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 then our programs they are they are not coming ready from the ministry or from the some kind of office, we are making our programs based on research. So that what we are teaching, it's very much based on research. How we are, how we are organizing teaching, it's very much based on university pedagogy research and research on teachers and teacher education. Finally, um, the student teachers, they are also engaging in, in research activities. They make the master thesis and, and I think that is not yet still common in, in, in many, even our neighbor countries, Sweden, they are making a very short kind of more report, not, not a real research. Uh, and and that, that is the one important difference. <laughs> there are many, many other, other differences. So, so for example, teaching practice. It's in, in many Asian countries, they have heavy accreditation 
and they are just teaching what is measured in the final examination. And for example, in South Korea, they, they do not appreciate teaching practice because it's difficult to measure. But in, in Finnish teacher education, the practice and, and learning from practice through reflection, that's very crucial. It's an essential part of teacher education. And, and we are very proud of our teacher training schools where, where the mental teachers are really committed to the mentoring processes. Decentralization is, is in all, all, all in Finnish education and as I mentioned, the programs are coming not from some office, we are, we are making them sales, so we are committed to the pro planning and, and we are responsible for assessment of student teachers learning. We are giving the master level degrees and that's enough, no additional testing is needed. We are responsible for quality work. So this decentralization makes us kind of ownership for teacher education, the people who are working in teacher education. And maybe a couple of, <laughs> there are so many things that comes to my mind. Maybe the one issue that most of the European countries are struggling now is the lack of teachers. So, so in, in, in maybe say most, most countries, there is a lack of teachers. In Nordic countries, in Germany, in, in Austria, in, 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 in Spain, there are not enough young people who are willing to come to teach education. In Finland, we have a lot of young people. Teach education is really attractive. And, and, and uh, we are able to take only maybe 10% of the applicants. And this makes the <laughs> level of students very high. And, and it's so, so, so important that maybe that is the most important in Finnish education that student teachers are really willing and they are very high, high quality students. Of course, there are many, many minor issues like, like the secondary teacher education, the studies in the subject are done together with other students, research oriented students, and they learn the uh, epistemological and ontological issues very deeply related to the sub. But maybe these are the most important issues and quite different to many other countries. Thank you, Yari. So comprehensive mm. description. I think that so many important elements came in, in that uh, your description. So integration theory and practice, I think that it, it's international challenge. How do you see, is that challenge also in Finland and how that can be overcome and, uh, and what we have done for that? I'm sure that this in, in the t research in teacher education, the papers are <laughs> quite often uh, focusing to this integration of theory and practice. And of course, we, we have challenges, even, even the schools where teaching practice is organized, they are part of the faculty and mentor teachers are faculty members. They are uh, engaging in research activities. They are, and there are quite many having PhD nowadays. Still, we have to continuously work with that issue and, 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 and if I give an example. So my, my field, science education, we have a quite long tradition to, to collaborate with, with mentor teachers in research, but also in the planning of teaching. So, so now, just now we are running a research project focusing to the coherence in secondary teacher education. How the staff members in different places, how they perceive the core aims of teacher education, how, how they understand what is happening in different uh, places like Faculty of Science, our faculty and, and schools, how, how, how we can uh, together make better program, this co-planning so that teachers are also participating to the planning of the secondary teacher education is, is very crucial. But yes, still, if, I, if we ask our students, we are collecting every, every year, every semester, uh, uh, feedback from students. Quite often they, they blame that it looks that there is not heavy connection between the theoretical studies and practical studies. So it's really challenging. Maybe it's not only our fault. In, 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 in the case of secondary teacher education, the P students are coming to the teaching uh, pedagogical studies and teaching practice in different phases 
in for instance Stanford University they have very coherent program the students are coming to the program at the same time and working together and it makes it more coherent but in our context that is not possible yes that is a challenge yeah. I, but yeah. still important to work yeah indeed, that. indeed and I think that in Finland we have tried systematically make revisions in teacher education mm -hmm. and as you mentioned inside university in cooperation but also in cooperation with national agencies mm -hmm. I think that the Ministry of Education and Culture is very important uh, partner it's not uh, regulating Sim. what we have to teach in uh, teacher education but we have options how we can work in cooperation